Hey everybody, welcome to Randy's Road Life. <clears throat> Time for another impromptu video, as my friend Trucker Todd would say. I wanted to show you something. Uh, it's not like the most hardest backhand I've ever done, not even close. But I want to show how interesting this one is. Um, so, you can't flip these, these cameras around, it kind of, that thing kind of sucks. So check this out. Look at that, that's where I'm going. Right there, here. So I back, so I had to pull up and I backed up all the way to where I am, giving this guy enough room to pull out. And uh, you see them that kicked up dirt right up there in the grass? Well, I guess some truck driver decided he didn't have enough room and he dug all that up all the way down deep into the mud. So uh, this is where we're at. This is how much room I have. So, I think it's pretty adequate. It's all right. Uh, I don't think that box truck right there is really in my way. I can wrap around him pretty good. So, I had to set myself up prior to that. And that's very important. Your setup is the most important thing uh, you do. And uh, so, what I'm going to do from here, what, I, what I'm going to do is uh, once this guy pulls out and I'm able to back in, my door is already open. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna shut my truck off actually. Cause even though I don't own this truck, I still care uh, about my job. I take it seriously and uh, I don't like uh, the owners paying more money than they have to. So uh, anyway, it's, it's just a professional way of doing business. Anyways, so the backing, as you've seen, uh, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna pull up straight a little bit, then kick out and then my truck will end up in something like a V, you know? Uh, that way uh, I can get right in between these concrete barriers right here fairly easily and I should be all right. So not a difficult thing to do. What I really wanted to talk to you guys about was trip planning. I believe trip planning is the most overlooked thing in trucking today because of uh, a lot of the new truckers, they have no idea what it is. Uh, they just jump in the truck, they have a GPS, and they, they go. They are just they just go and go and go, right? They don't trip plan. And then they wonder why they get they don't have parking spaces. Uh, they end up with super expensive fuel and things of that nature. So in trip planning, once I know where I'm going, okay, uh, in comparison to how much fuel I currently have, all right, and uh, how many hours I have left? Like I'm, I'm at the moment I'm doing a 30 minute break because I haven't done one yet, and I drove straight here all the way from PA. Okay, so I have 59 minutes left on my eight hour clock. So I'm gonna bring up my time, right? My time refreshes here. I want to get my other hours. I'm gonna have four hours and 38 minutes. Okay. Uh, now that is enough time to almost get me to where I'm going, but not quite. I'm going to be about a uh, hundred miles short. You know, hopefully this place doesn't take forever. It's a, it is a small box truck down there getting loaded or unloaded. I'm not really sure which, which one it is. Um, but anyways, so trip planning, right? I'm going to punch in the coordinates on my GPS, all right? I'm going to let it come up, uh, and I'm going to check to make sure it's the right address. I'm going to uh, zoom in on the address. And I'm going to look at the layout around it just to make sure it looks suitable, okay? Uh, I don't do this all the time right away. Cause if I have like a, a 900, a thousand mile load, I won't do it then. You know, I'll, I'll bring up the route. I'll look at, I'll look at the route real quick just to make sure uh, me and my GPS are on the same page. All right. Cause do not rest on your laurels with these GPSs, right? I don't care how good the GPS is. It is sometimes wrong, right? It doesn't have the proper updates, this and that. So you always have to double check your GPS. Please do that. Uh, my GPS will still take me down the road just to make me do a U-turn to go back in the other direction. It just does that. I don't know why it does that, but it will. 
And so I know that, <laughs> right? So I always pull up my route and look at my route, right? Uh, I've been around the United States enough to know I can get almost, I can get to any major city I want to. I know how to get there, all right? So a lot of times I don't need my GPS until I get to a local, until I get to a locale, which I don't know the streets. So then I do need the GPS, all right? I can break out a Ram McNally map and look at the, the street layout, you know, I could do that. Uh, but my GPS, my Garmin 780 here, actually gives me up-to-date traffic information. And uh, it'll let me know uh, lane closures and all that type of stuff. And uh, and it'll sometimes ask me if I want to, if I want to alternate route, you know, and it'll reroute me, right? Or if I know something's going, I'll route, I'll route myself. That's what this thing is for, is, 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 a, is a good indication of something bad is happening up ahead that's going to... Uh, uh, put a hiccup in your day all right so trip planning uh first of all when you trip plan you want to know where you're gonna sleep at night where are you gonna park man you know i'm particular to loves because i have diamond status and i have a ton of points and i get i get i like my free stuff you know, and I get free showers and all that stuff. That's where all my stuff, my, my points are at. So I'm going to look for a loves in the distance to where I know I'm going to probably be stopping. Sometimes I stop early. Then, I, then, and I might still, leave, I might leave an hour on the, on the clock. That's cool. As long as I stop at a place where I'm comfortable. But I, <coughs> on top of that, you also got to know when to, when to take off. All right. So you're going to look for a place to park. How much is the fuel? When are you going to fuel again? You know, this truck has over 200 gallons of fuel in it. Not right. Not currently. I have about a half a tank. I mean, a half. it's half full now. Uh, what I would like to do is go back south to fuel up at that Love's uh, south of here at 252 a gallon. Right? Because, again, I save the my boss, the owner of the company, money. When it fuels, it's the cheapest fuel. It's it's cheaper than what I got it when I was in Missouri. And Missouri is is pretty damn cheap. So is Oklahoma and Texas and all that stuff. So I'm about to go to Erie, Pennsylvania, and I know I'm going northeast, and it's right there across on you know on the on uh, the state line with Ohio. And uh, y'all know that Pennsylvania fuel is ridiculously expensive, almost up there with California. But a lot of fuel has, has dropped, so it's not that bad, but I'm not fueling in Pennsylvania. I'm not going to do that, you know? So, what's going to probably... I'm, i got to go to Seymour and get loaded on my next load. I want to Seymour and get loaded. And I'm going to punch up my route. I'm going to look at it and see what's, where it's taking me. And uh, But I know the loves I would like to go to is on exit 16. So that's away from where I'm going. So I know I can't go there. I'm not going to run, you know, 40 some miles in the opposite direction just to fuel but 252. I'm not going to do that because you're burning 80 miles of fuel because you have to come back this way. So you got to double it. So that's 80 miles. So it, 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 at, at 252 a gallon, you think it might be worth it. Maybe to you it is, but to me it's not. Okay. So uh, am I going to fuel in Indiana? Probably not. Why? Because. Indiana fuel is more expensive than Ohio fuel. The fuel taxes up here are higher. So, but you can always pull up your apps and look at the prices. You can see the prices on the app of of uh, what's what. So, what I'm probably going to do is run 65 up to 70 to east, you know, and probably fuel up uh, in like Springfield or something at the Loves there. But truthfully. I don't need to fill up right now. 400 some miles, dude. I, this thing, I could do 400, 400 miles easily in this truck. This truck will do almost 2,000 miles without fueling up. I'm not going to test that theory, but it can get pretty damn close to that. You know, it, I'm pretty sure this thing holds about 240 gallons of fuel. And how do I do? How do I know that? This is very simple. The other day, I put 220 gallons in this thing. That's how close to... I was in the red, right? Two, I put 222 gallons of fuel in this truck. That's a fact. I never tell a lie, okay? So, that's the part of the trip planning. Then, 
Uh, I want to see where the business is at that I'm going to because, man, you get surprised so many times. You come to these places, you can't find it. There are no signs, no indication of where shipping and receiving is at. It's like, son of a bitch. Then, you know, you got so many road restrictions around the place is, you know, and dude, you got to be so, you got to be so careful about where you're going. You know, and this, this trip planning thing is the most, I believe is the most overlooked aspect of, of, of uh, truck driving. You know, if truck driving is going to be your career, become a truck driver, man. Learn the business, learn the logistics, learn the transportation end of it, not just the driving end of it. All right. You got to learn off, you learn all factors of your job because it'll become much easier for you once you understand what it, what goes in uh, to a load. From A to B, and it'll make it so sim much simpler for you. So, all these all these factors is, is what I'm looking at. All right. Uh, now there might be I might need a Walmart. Then maybe I need to do some shopping. I need food in my truck and things like that. You know. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look up a Walmart super center off an exit. And if you come across, sometimes you don't you don't you don't see it in time and you didn't pass it. Like damn it. You know, so if I know beforehand that I need a, a Walmart Super Center or something like that, then I'm going to be looking for one already before I already know where I'm going to pull off at. So that's how I do it. You know, so all these factors come into play. This guy is finally pulling out of the door. We're about to do some parking, guys. Uh, I wish there's no place out here for me to set up my phone so you guys can see how I'm about to do this. I wish I could. Uh, but my wife is about to be in the truck with me here soon. And, uh, I'm going to have her, uh, record some of my backing for you guys. So you can see how I do it. Uh, maybe you can correct me on something that I do. Maybe you learn something from me, right? It can go both ways. Believe me, you can. Uh, I'm not perfect in anything, but, uh, backing is the thing I like to do the most. And, uh, I don't care where I'm at. I'm not afraid of any of it. Because uh, it's like a puzzle. And I love critical thinking. Alright. So with that, I'm going to bid you guys do. And I hope you guys like and subscribe. Leave me comments. You know, let's figure this stuff out together. And uh, let's leave the negativity behind, please. And uh, let's help each other out. We're all in this industry together doing the same exact thing. Right? We're going from point A to point B. And we try to do it as safely as possible. And we're trying to make money and get home safely. So with that, uh, stay uncomplicated, gentlemen and ladies.